piece. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Happy now. <laughs> All the sound effects. <laughs> now is the vibrate. Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past. Right now. Now let me start off by saying that I don't care what's our true sexual nature. Whether it be it's meant for us to be possessive over each other and get into a marriage, you know, and, and you know, you my property, I'm your property type of vibe. Or whether it's meant to for us to be free and share with each other. You know, like we share other things in life and you know whatever the case may be. But I have no if source came to me and said it was one way or the other, I'm going which with Whichever one source my high self tells me to deal with, then that's what I'm dealing with. And I want to give this, uh, uh, you know, I'm giving this a preface because I, I'm, I don't want it to, uh, which I don't care what y'all think, but at the same time, I want to, you know, make sure I'm uh, expressing myself in a manner where people can really understand where I'm coming from. Uh, you know, because it could seem like I'm, I'm uh, you know, especially coming from a male, you know, and we seen as, uh, you know, somebody that wants to have multiple sex partners which i mean it's not just the males but we are you know uh like i say we're putting that spotlight in that sense as the ones who you know want to be more uh is the word promiscuous i'm not sure but anyway they just want to have you know multiple partners so that's why i'm like you know explain it's not like hey this is not uh I don't care whether I have uh, multiple partners or that that one, whatever, whatever. But the reason why I'm giving this preface because I just caught a download, you know, dealing with this situation, with the sex situation again. In this one, like, I mean, my channel's been clear. I barely, you know, barely ate today, you know, like, so... So the energy is running through me and the clear cognizant thoughts been, matter of fact, since I got this uh, piece of petrified wood, and petrified wood been giving me uh been opening up my downloads but i got another aspect <laughs> of information you know different uh again the downloads that i was receiving just now about like you know how we should carry ourselves uh in a sexual manner now uh for sure like uh first thing that came to me so this is how it came to me it was like uh you know we say sharing is caring you know, like sharing is caring. I look at the way we operate in the community. You know, we, we share stuff. Like nobody's like, oh, mine. Like this is for me. You know, like we, we share, you know. Like every, like it, it's funny because like everything is about, you know, promoting sharing, like not being stingy or not, you know, feeling like, like what we talk about, the ego feel is possess things. Even down to parenting, you feel like you possess your kid, you know, these different things. So it came to me with that sharing is caring you know and it kind of gave me that little insight like you know even with sexual partners you know sharing is caring you know to uh you know to to want to uh you know have that that possession over somebody was you know and again it's it's a mixture of situations you know we've been uh We've been taught all these different ways, and that's what, and, and reason why I'm bringing up this for one, because it's a download, and I got from source, and source told me to share this with y'all. But uh, to just open, you know, open up people's minds to not, I'm not telling y'all to to do either or, you know, what I'm saying I'm just sharing this information with you and showing you how it presented itself to me. You know, <laughs> you take it how you want, but uh, you know, it's like the sharing is caring. You know, and how we don't really possess people in this matrix. Like, you know, part of trying to possess things is like the lower vibration, the ego. And then when you think about why somebody want to, you know, to a certain extent, possess their partner, you know, in most cases it's out of jealousy and insecurity. And, you know, in a lot of cases, insecurity or fear. You know, fear is a low vibration, you know, and that stems into insecurity or jealousy. I don't want to see that person with somebody else. Or, you know, I don't want to, you know, Again, possession. I don't want to let nobody use my my car. I don't want to let nobody use my jacket. You know, this is my jacket. You know, I I bought that ring. I mean, I bought I paid <laughs> I paid for that ring with that thing. I mean, I uh you know bought this jacket. You know, so it's for me now. You know, and I'm the only person exclusively that could wear it. 
know so it's just like all these things of uh you know wanting to possess like you know like the marriage vibe again it's like wanting to possess another person and when you look at everything else we do in our community it's all about sharing <laughs> so it's like why is all about sharing until it gets to the part of our sexual partners you know why is not still sharing you know now i may add though for sure you know uh of course again from us being tricked into thinking there's these stds and all this certain things then you get to a point of like you know but you know reason why we don't share because you know it could be with anybody which there are cases of people uh like i say i'm pretty sure coming together not like not having like no vibe of sleeping around and still may acquire uh std so to speak again those things of all diseases are fake i'm going to constantly put that in y'all subconscious because that's the trueness of, the, of our reality they fake anyway <laughs> You know, as long as we not contaminating each other's beings, you know. Why would, like, say, for instance, as long as, like, uh, if I got this jacket, you know, I'm, I'm not going to give you this jacket if it's dirty. You know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to wash this jacket first and then share it with you, you know. But it's the vibe of, like, you know, how everything know we do and deal with in our community is about sharing you know and then i think i came across a video that spoke to like where the indigenous tribes so back another thing that support the sharing vibe you know with a lot of the indigenous tribes you know when you got a a baby or whatever you know the the, the, the biological mom is nursing the baby matter of fact i got this story from a I think it was a ted talk i was watching recently you know, but but uh he was explaining how he saw this on a trip well i mean on a on a journey to a place not that kind of true. <laughs> but uh he was like you know uh the mom was nursing the baby and then something happened by the house or whatever and she had to go tend to it so she passed it she passed the baby to the to the next woman and the next woman started nursing then the the the, the woman that that just got handed the baby she had some stuff to tend to and, and so she handed the baby to the next person you know like that community, as far as you know, share sh how they say that it takes a uh, community to raise a child, you know. <laughs> and it's like you got that type of vibe with that also, but it's still about like possess, possess, you know. And I always like I tell people too, always check, you know, where where do you feel you get this mind frame from? Does does feeling like you need to get married is something that was just always in your heart or, or was it something that you saw your parents doing and you saw society speak on marriage 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 so you feel that you gotta you know get married too you know or was it always in your, your heart like as you know and that's the thing because even down to to me though on the flip side of things like my parents didn't didn't tell me hey son Make sure you have sex with a lot of women. Like, make sure you have the urge to want to have sex with different women. Like, my parents didn't teach me that. But, <laughs> like, indirectly, I just had a vibe always strong about, like, matter of fact, I, I don't know if I shared that in one of my videos, but when I was younger, like, almost like, a, like when I was a little kid, I say little kid, but, like, growing up, you know, first getting into that little sexual place, I would just catch these ideas of that I want to you know uh have like seeds with all kind of different women you know just to be honest like to to uh like in my head i was like i wanted a, uh, a seed with every different quote unquote nationality or ethnicity you know and that was a vibe i had internally and nobody sat there and taught me that or schooled me that and this was even before like uh you know before my environment got to me on that level uh, and was like, you know, you, to be a player or to be, you know, like this, you know, you got to have a bunch of women. Even before that, it was like just a genuine vibe. And I always been genuine about checking myself on them vibes. It's like, you know, are you sure? Like, are you are you just following what, you know, somebody else telling you or this is what you really feel? And again, you know, my parents never told me, hey, go out and feel like that, you know, go. Like, I just felt like that naturally, you know. So again you know it's about questioning you know questioning things and seeing if it's 
something that you were programmed to do in essence or something that's really and truthfully within you because again you know how we share so much in the community and then again like want to possess somebody i don't know just want to possess anything and saying mine mine it just always sit as a you know a lower vibration of the, the ego vibe and of course think about the way the subconscious is it, it's programmable so if somebody programs you and then in generations and generations and generations of all right you gotta possess just one person you know and that's it you know if you get and then your parents, parents been, you know, then that runs through the DNA too, to a certain extent. So now, you know, that mind frame is strongly stamped in your being to a certain extent. Because again, you know, I, I definitely, uh, I'm not into the, to the marriage vibes, like the traditional way of it or whatever the case may be, you know. But uh, even thinking to how married people, you know, married people be married, but they still got like that sexual attraction, uh, sexual attraction, like, oh, Holly Berry, this and that, or, you know, like these different people outside of them, or it don't even have to be a, a celebrity, just, you know, like people in general, like they might come across and they, they know that, like in their head, like, oh yeah, I definitely would love to have sex with that person, but you know, but it gets, you know, suppressed by the societal mind frame of like, oh, you might, you are you a hoe or you be or you a man that's having too much sex or you like uh what it what they call it misogyny whatever you know but you you disrespect women and as a woman you you uh you a hoe you this that you know what i'm saying that because society you know and it's a chess game again because uh with that being said of course uh, uh, attraction especially with sexual because again know that and that's a reality though that the, the body you know is a temple and certain energies in which I'm getting to that too you know but the body is a temple and energies are exchanged strongly doing sexual you know uh, intercourse in essence but what I was gonna say is uh yeah it's not so much about the, the physical vibe so when I was just explaining like the married people they they might see somebody you know, like, oh yeah. And they may be just looking at just the shell. So that part, like with them looking at just the shell of the person and feeling like, all right, I wanna have sex. That may be a little bit of the, you know, the lust vibration. But the idea though that runs under that is just the fact that they wanna have sex outside of their relationship regardless. But they, but, but they just happen to see somebody who they're attracted to physically. So that's the person like they looking at, like, yeah, I would, I wouldn't mind doing it with them. You know, but it, the idea of wanting to have sex outside of your relationship may still, you know, run through. And that's the thing, going through the truthfulness of your mind. Because some of us have these ideas and still try to fight for the idea of like, oh, well, no, I just want to be with one person, but, you know. And again, to each his own, some people are truthfully, genuinely like that, you know what I'm saying? And then I think to the fact, like, how we make the sex with more than one person seem so bad, but then I'm like, bro, you know, with most of us, most of us, you know, we done made it to this point, we done had sex with, you know, different people in our past, but seem like we seem to be growing pretty good on a spiritual level, wouldn't you say? Like, you know, that most of us, <laughs> you know, because I... It would be a lie to say all star beings and everybody that's uh, raising their vibration right now only has sex with one person or is only having sex with one person, you know? That would be a false statement, you know? So when you when you look at all these different things, you know, you just gotta, again, just question, you know, your reality, question what's really going on, you know? Not saying to either or, I'm just sharing, again, just sharing what, you know, these different as a matter of fact like this all came to me at once so i had to hurry up and write write down some of these points because they was you know good to where i knew if i start the video i would probably slip up and forget some of it so you know but again you know it, it's a uh and back to that vibe of like naturally like what women have you know multiple orgasms and can have an orgasm up to three hours you tell them make source made that being like that but then made that being to also constrict that like to not you know like be like so openly or uh, how i said not say openly but for for the sexual energy to be just so strong and and vibrant through this being 
but I want you to keep your legs closed and for most of your life until you find that one, you know, or whatever the case may be. And it's like, you know, it's like source makes things and puts certain things in place for a purpose, you know. So with that being said, you know, uh, I don't know, and I, I said this in one of my older videos, but again, you know, why would uh, a being be made to have such a, you know, a heightened blissful sexual experience just to to hide from it, to run from it, you know? Like it just kind of, uh, you know, doesn't make too much sense, you know, at least to the way I'm, you know, my perception. <laughs> And, and I, I use another analogy, like what if one organ in the body wanted to possess a certain nutrient and then want to share the, the nutrient with the other organs? Like, you know, uh, vitamin C, like the liver, like vitamin C is just for me. We get married and nobody else could have vitamin C but me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, the other, the other parts is going to, you know, uh, how can I say, get malnutrition and, and, and I'm not looking at it as a direct analogy to sex i just caught the uh eyes a little off in essence but just for the most part because safe fences you know reason why i'm saying this because you don't actually get nutrients or like a, a, a well nope i take that back because in each different sexual experience you know with with each person be having a unique vibration you would get some type of unique download or you know something from a di you know each different sex partner so i take that back so it is like you know different nutrients so with, with that being said like the liver like oh no you can't vitamin c is just for me you know and, and two with that being said i'm also not a person to believe in uh like the the marriage of more than one people because mar marriage is possession possession is possession and marriage is possession and I don't I don't agree with the uh like the the multiple man like I don't agree with marriage on no levels whether it just be uh you know two people or one and one person together or, or one person married to four people you know it's all trying to possess something you know showing a sign of possession and and, and we got this lower vibration of insecurity and jealousy you know because jealousy that's not that's not one of sources high vibrational traits you know just be honest with it you know nor is insecurity you know because a lot of us too like got this trying to hold on to this one mate because maybe we feel insecure about our body or whatever whatever but this one person really loves the way we look and you know whatever the case may be so we want to just stick to that to that one person however you may see it or however it works for you but Oh, and also, yeah, and, and, and getting back at the part of, like, you know, how we all done had sex with different people, but we seem to be growing spiritually pretty good. And you think to the person that, uh, you know, is celibate, you know, or, or, like, grew up in that vibe where they never had sex or was told or taught to, like, just be celibate and how, like, once they get the first taste of sex, it's like, ah, you know? Like, is, is, is a reason for that. And there's a reason why it seems like the people who, say fences, the people who are experiencing, you know, life more openly, you know, why we, we got more of a, uh, you know, a, a spiritual, a heightened spiritual intelligence or just a heightened, you know, uh, life maturity compared to somebody who just been sheltered, you know, on a sexual level, you know, is, you know, they kind of still don't know much about the world and still, you know, and again, this doesn't mean everybody go have sex all willy nilly. Like everybody just start humping wherever you at. Like you know, no, this is not. Cause too, that's what people like to do. It's like cause I'm bringing it up to be open. Oh, so you said everybody like? Nah, I get that old. In fact, that's that old courthouse lawyer ass rebuttals. Like, oh, so you say this? So you mean everybody? No, did I say everybody and everything? No, I'm just just speaking. You know, <laughs> just giving up information like I can say or what I just caught a clear cognizant thought you know just got this passed down to me and I'm sharing it in an open manner now of course 
I am, uh, you know, but which that's the reality of the situation. I'm going, uh, you know, have that certain outlook on the marriage thing because I see it for what it is now that, you know, like it is that, that, that possession vibe. While like while we still walk around, you know, biting our tongue, like probably wanting to, you know, have sex with with somebody else. And two, that's why, in in a lot of relationships, you know, uh, and I put it like this: I know most people probably have spoken of this in a relationship where you know y'all together and y'all thought about bringing another person in on a little sexual vibe, you know, like well, let's let's. Let's have a little threesome. You find somebody else, you know, to, to, to have sex with. You know, it's 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 a it's a reason for them vibes. The reason why, you know, in the Anki and Lil stories where they talk about how Anki uh you know showed the new the new humans that they made how to have sex and then all they was doing was just having sex and reproducing, you know. Like it, it's a bunch of parallels and then and then when you get to uh you know America and the colonization of things the colonizers like to you know to possess everything and make everything go through the courthouse and you know it's about ownership you know and again like this is my wife or my husband this is my kids and my kids are gonna own my land and my 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 in the matrix where you don't own nothing you know where none of this stuff is for you where we where we share everything you know obviously except for you know sexual partners you know so somehow the the loving conscious community you know we love here here brother i say sister i say brother we sharing and caring but you know it and then when it gets to that part it's like well no you know gotta possess you know so just, again, just throwing it out there to just allow for y'all to, you know, just really ask yourself, you know, why do you vibe the way you vibe with your sexual nature, you know? Like, and is it something that you really truthfully feel should be, you know, that the way it is? Or, you know, or is it something that, that you were programmed, you know, through years of subconscious programming to feel that way, you know. You know, it's it's uh <laughs> it's interesting even even thinking about uh like how the body is the temple, you know. So that means one person supposed to like uh and again, this is not to 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 mean like be willy nilly and not check out and I said this in my my other video too on sex the, the last little two part when I did and I talked about uh like you know checking each other's energy of course you're not just flying into this you know like alright I just met you you just met me let's take off each other's clothes and just start boinking right now boinking I just want to say that <laughs> you know and just start uh having sex right now no it doesn't mean that but it does mean if we check each other's energies you know, you know the, the vibe is right, you know, again, and I'm not even gonna go back into it fully, but you know, just checking each other's energies and seeing where each other's saying and, you know, feeling the vibe. Cause another thing too, which again, on a sexual level, it is much stronger, but during your day to day, you stepping into other people's auric fields, sharing energy with people, you know, on, on all levels, all the time, you know? That's why as a, uh, you know, I don't like to use the word empath, but people sensitive to energy, you know, that's why, like, we get that rude awakening that you can't run from the whole world. Like, you, your auric field has to be shared with other people. You have to walk around and, you know, and in essence, share your vibration with others, you know. You know, it's all these, all these ways that you just see naturally for us to not be possessive, you know. And I digress. That's that's about all my little little uh, how I gotta say the little uh, different insights that I that I got on the situation. That's about it. You know, the, basically the sharing is caring part. You know how we share everything. Then of course, like well, a lot of this 
possession stems from because think about it, like the, the the bad guy he want to possess the universe <laughs> i wanna i'm gonna own the whole galaxy because i'm scared of somebody else i'm scared of change i'm scared of somebody else running things i'm scared of you know this or that so i want to rule things so i could know what's going on i want to control everything you know kind of why a dog is man's best friend because he could control a dog <laughs> He listen, you know, he can control it, you know. Gotta pay attention to those subtleties, you know. Like, us wanting to control things, you know, when you look at the, the colonizers and people who want to, you know, oppress and colonize things, they were very into possession. You know, so you just gotta, you know, you just gotta ask yourself, <laughs> you know, why do I feel such a need to possess a human being when in other forms of things we do you know it's not about possession it's just something to you know ask yourself <laughs> but again that's basically it so on that note you know again I don't care like from for me myself personally you know you know, whichever one is my destiny, I don't care, you know, like, it, it's cool, just sharing this information, you know, <laughs> like, I'm not trying to, uh, like, be a, a man, like, oh, yeah, and I got, ha, ha, I got all kind of women, now. like, nobody, matter of fact, that, that vibe been gone, you know what I'm saying, and just on, on on any note, you know, it's just, again, just me sharing this information, not trying to get anybody to, uh, to go either or, I'm just sharing this openly, and I, of course, again, I present it in a manner that, you know, shows that marriage is a little possessive and seems like it's on that lower vibration of ego, and I'm still not telling you how to live your life, or you, you do your thing however you see fit. Whatever floats your boat and finds your lost remote, do your thing. Just and again, uh, but of course, you know it is about you know scanning like from because say for instance, and that, that's how you know we we sharing energy. That's why we scan the people we hang with in essence, you know, to a certain extent. Or you know we feel a vibe, and if we're not feeling a vibe of people we're hanging with, we stop hanging with them because again. You know, we sharing energy even outside of sex, you know, so it's just something to think about as well. You know, and, and uh, you know, in both people, even though the, fem the female is more magnetic than man, you know, the man is magnetic, electromagnetic, you know, so we all taking in energy, so. But, peace. Happy now. Now is the vibrates. Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past. Right now. Peace.